Hey guys, Pokemon Max here, and today we're doing the Bibliocraft mod. What Bibliocraft does, it adds things that people who have a, who really like organizing stuff, into their Minecraft. Now, as you can see, we have, adds tons of new items, which I'll show you how to craft from these chests above my head. But now first, we have the tool rack. Now, what the tool rack does is it stores your tools. As you can see, it has these four slots, and you can change them around to whatever position you like. So, yeah, let me just show you what it looks like and stuff. You can just change it around however you like to whatever preference you have. So, yeah. And to craft that, we need two, three. Make these blocks. We need the wrong, wrong box. Oh, crud. Well, that was a bust. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to rebuild that. So let's let's show you how to build it right now. Now, make the tool rack. You need the. You need to put okay you need to put slabs now this can be made with any wood doesn't matter what yeah wood slabs all around with one wa uh, iron ingot uh, I, I disgraced you magical iron I'm so sorry and that's how you make that now next Let's just show you what these are. This is the oak wood label. Now, what the label does is if I, um, I think I have in my other thing, yeah. Now, if we, now, if we shift click, it puts a label on it. And if we, nope. Now we can write what's on, what's in here, or put a picture, or put a picture. Actually, you put a picture of what's in here. No, what the? When did that happen? Blech. So you put your item in this, and it shows what item is in this chest. So yeah. <coughs> now next we have the bookcases, and now what the bookcases do is they store your written books and also your enchanted books. So if you want to hide your good enchanted books, you can use this. Now, as you can see, it changes the color, so if I move it like that, I'll actually take it out and move it, it will it'll change it to a different color. So, yeah, and, it also, and as I said, it stores regular books. Now, to craft that, you're going to need three, six oak planks and three oak slabs to make the bookcase. Now, you can make it with any type of wood, doesn't matter which. Now, next, we are going to show you... This is probably direct your attention immediately. The armor stands. Now, what the armor stands do is they basically hold your armor on. Basically, if you have a certain piece of ar certain set of armor you like, you can put it on the stand for decoration or for a little thing where you can store it so it does not get lost and for your adventure stuff. Now, you sort of saw this in Captain Sparkle's Fallen Kingdom video. I sort of thought that was a cool reference. But anyways, iron. Iron. Okay. <laughs> now, to make that, you need two iron ingots and three sewn slabs. And it'll make the armor stand. Now, next, we have the potions. The potions shelf. Now what the potion shelf does is it stores your potions in any way you like. You can rearrange them if I can actually click it and move it. You can rearrange them any way you like and it's shiny, 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 shiny. So shiny! You can store it any way you like at any sort of thing. So yeah. Now next we have the shelves. Now what the shelves do is they store any item in a four block thing. So let's just do like this. And it will put them on here, and if you move to the side, they make the block 3D, just like a regular block. So yeah, 
Well, let's put this back. And how convenient. This is how you make the shelf. There is six oak slabs and one oak plank, and it will make a oak shelf. Or wood, jungle wood, retro shelf. You can use any wood. Any wood. For all of these. Now, what you have next is the glass case. Now, what the glass case is, is it stores just one item, but it is for your favorite item. So, if this was your first pickaxe that you found, um, found your first piece of iron rich, um, found your first piece, actually, you mined your first stone with, then you can store it in here for safekeeping. Now, this could be the um, sword that killed 50,000 creepers. You can store it in here for safekeeping. And this can be the foot and steel you use to troll your friend by burning his house down. And you just want, every time he comes over, you just want to flaunt it and say, Hey, that's what, that's what burned down your house. Heh, <laughs> heh. And he'll just be pissed off at you. Now, to make this, we, you need to do this. You need seven oak slabs, a glass, and um, a wool. Not lapis lazuli. Let's actually get the correct thing. You need a wool. Now, these come in three colors. Red, red, blue, and green. Just need to put the whichever one you want. In them. So yeah, I don't think I missed anything. Did I? Did I? Did I? Oh, this is how you create the potion. I'm glad I did not forget that. It is six oak slabs, two oak planks, and a glass bottle, and that's how you make the potion shelf. Shelf. So shiny. So yeah, guys, that's all I have to say. And let's get this stuff. And as always, iron to you. <laughs> if you like my mod showcase, please just put in the comments below what you liked about it. Um, the mod will be down in the description below, guys. So if you check it out there. Also, send me a like and, a f and subscribe to my channel. I could really use some new subscribers for the Undead Lich Army. Yes, that's because my character. Don't judge. So yeah, I'd really like some new subscribers to join this army, and if I get enough subscribers, we'll be having our own server, and I'm going to allow anything, except for trolling. Do not troll. I hate trolls. Griefing is allowed in certain er will be allowed in certain areas and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, just hit that like button and favorite button and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see y'all later. Bye.